Prologue, take two. Hey guys, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics, the YouTube channel that helps you become a modern day renaissance man. And today we're going to talk about the word prologue. Um, as a modern day renaissance man, um, you should be reading a lot of fiction and maybe even writing your own fiction. And one of the things that you should be familiar with is this term. Um, so let me, without further ado, let me give you the Wikipedia um, definition, which basically says that a prologue is a separate introductory section of a literary or musical work. Now, why is that important? <clears throat> a prologue, essentially, in layman's terms, is what a writer uses or a storyteller uses in order to set the background, the backdrop, if you will, for the story. Now, let me read off a quote here that I thought was kind of interesting, and then, and then we'll kind of do a little short discussion. So, according to Elmore Leonard, uh, who wrote The Ten Rules of Writing, he said, avoid prologues. They can be annoying, especially a prologue following an introduction that comes after a foreword. And I would agree. And the fact of the matter is, a lot of readers do not read the prologue or the introduction or the foreword, depending on what you have in your book. Um, however, in some cases, the prologue can be very beneficial. Um, and there have been prologues that have been used in the past to a very, like, uh, great success. So, for example, one would be Star Wars, right? Before every episode, you see the, the infamous yellow scroll scrolling in space that gives the audience an idea of what is going on. It gives them the backdrop, tells them who the key players are most of the time and what's going on. The, uh, another good example would be Lord of the Rings. If you look at Lord of the Rings, particularly um, the Fellowship of the Ring, it really, the prologue not only sets up for the, the Fellowship of the Ring, but it sets up for the entire series that is to follow. And um, it really does just a phenomenal job. And if you want an idea of how a prologue should be, you should really do an analysis of those two. Sometimes if, uh, if you're delving into like a really deep world like that and it's kind of exotic compared to um, what we face normally, then it's my opinion that using a prologue can be very helpful to help the readers kind of get into um, your world and just understand the basic concepts. Um, on the flip side, if whatever, if the thing that you're writing is pretty straightforward, if it's very similar to our world, or if it would only take a few lines to describe in the first chapter of the book, then do that. Um, I remember the first time that I read The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown, I almost put it away right after the prologue because I was like, this is kind of boring. I was really, really bored. And it wasn't until the very end where like the guy has died and kind of like put his body in a, you know, a certain position that I was, that my interest was even piqued. But after that, once I got into the actual book and started going, like I was like, oh, this is really interesting. And then as they started to refer back to the, the guy in the prologue, the character in the prologue, and then also, of course, the villain who had done that to that character, um, who had murdered him, then I could see like how it related. But in my mind, and even to this day, I still wonder if that w wasn't you know, superfluous. Was it really needed? I don't know. Um, but so to me, that's the, the Da Vinci Code is an example of, of a really great book that has a prologue that I don't think served it as well as it could have or maybe wasn't even necessary, but it still had it and it still was successful. Is a prologue going to make or break the success of your book? I think that's an example that shows you no. However, um, it's always the, 
the best course of action is always to try to hook your readers as fast as possible. So, um, if again, just to recap, if you want to set the background and the tone and, and some of the key elements of a very exotic world, then I would suggest using a prologue. If that's not the type of world that your, your characters are in, then probably not um, necessary. Okay, I hope this has been helpful, and if you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to hear more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel, and what'll happen is you'll get all of my updates as they become available. And um, until next time, just uh, keep branching out and trying to reach your full potential. Take it easy, guys.